tax development in our Nashville 2022 reports. An Australian company sets up shop in Wilson County, hoping to establish Tennessee as a hub for electric vehicles. Tritium, a global leader in the EV charging industry, will soon fuel Metro's growth, not with gas, but opportunity. Today, I go one-on-one -on -one with the CEO. We're really happy we landed on Middle Tennessee. We're very proud to call it our new home. It's our biggest factory globally, which is very exciting for us. For Jane Hunter, Tritium CEO, the volunteer state checks all the boxes. There was the business friendly laws. There's actually having a large amount of time overlap with Australian business hours, which was important to us. Accessibility by road and air, which is super important because we, ha we have these big, heavy products that we've got to ship in and out. Those products, electric vehicle chargers, will be produced here at the former Toshiba TV factory on Toshiba Drive. Upon completion, this 500,000 square foot space with six production lines will produce between 10 to 30,000 charging units per year and will then be installed on every major interstate in the United States. I think Tennessee is quickly becoming the state for building electric cars, EV batteries, electric car chargers. And in the U.S., if this becomes the state, we're very proud to be part of that story. A story that continues with the new Altium Cells battery plant in Spring Hill, used for GM's Cadillac Lyric in Smyrna, where Nissan is making their zero-emission EV, dubbed the Nissan Leaf. And at the Blue Oval City near Memphis, where Ford will soon build their electric F-Series pickups and advanced batteries. Even if you haven't made the decision to buy an EV yet, Unfortunately, the big car manufacturers have made it for you. Hunter says they're not only bringing the future to Music City, but more than 500 skilled and unskilled jobs. And we also tend to source like 35 to 40 percent of our parts locally. So when you open the Tennessee factory, that's going to drive business locally where it makes up our supply chain because we're big purchases of hundreds of different parts. It's a big move for a big company, encompassing a trend gaining steam nationwide. We're definitely here to stay. I just adore her accent. Well, Hunter says fully electric vehicles make up less than 5% of passenger cars on American roads right now. She says that will soon change. Tritium hopes to open in quarter three of this year, Alex. Well, Middle Tennessee is getting another 100 new jobs. Toast Incorporated, a digital platform built for restaurants, is establishing a new facility right here in Tennessee. The configuration facility will set up shop in Antioch. The company will create more than 100 new jobs during the next five years.